I have no traction on here. I'm standing You guys, we gotta get out. Everybody move! Alright, I can get I gotta get it going. I have no traction. <laughs> at all. That's enough, that's enough. You guys can get it right. Come on. Okay. okay. It'll be okay. We can wait, we can wait. Let's see how far you can take it. Okay, go, Paul. Okay, you go. Well. Push. And that'll look good. Okay, let's go. today the whole prairie in front of you is on fire and you can see smoke and flames they traveled all day in this section through prairie fires had a hard time finding feed in fact once they got about a mile past where Lexington is they had to turn back because there was nothing came back about a mile and went right along the plant into a little island area where they could find some feed in fact when they turned back the wind blew up and they all got covered with black ash and uh, Thomas Bullock said they looked like sweeps he was an old Englishman. So uh, so you envision the prairie on fire today, and I think that'll give you a sense of what it was like 150 years ago. Brian, can I add something? Just touch that lightly. I've been there. Just don't play that too hard. We won't. Mr. Petromello's report. For those that, that are not following the train, track, we go back north to Highway 30, go west, turn right on Jefferson Street. Jefferson Street is just before the uh, Viaduct overpass. 
I think there is a uh, trinket and thing on the right that you turn right. Uh, you go uh, two blocks to the stop sign, turn left on 5th Street, go one block to the stop sign and turn left on Jackson Street and over the overpass. Travel eight tenths of a mile to Dawson County Fairground River Valley Raceway. Use the second entrance, which is directly across the street from Plum Creek Motors and Maintenance Car Wars, or Minuteman Car Wars, sorry. We got all that. <laughs> got all that. Okay. Take sure now, when you park, be sure do not park your vehicles close to the bleachers. Race on Sunday, and the, uh, they'd have to ask you to move your vehicles due to insurance restrictions. I'm sure the last thing you'd want is a vehicle on top of yours flying off a racetrack. Uh, so there are designated RV parking spaces. Other RVs can park between the commercial display building and open class display building. Uh, so on, so on. There is no dump station on the fairground, but someone from the city is coming to lift up a manhole cover so everyone can dump. Uh, in case of inclement weather, which we're not going to have, we'll forget that. Uh, there are a lot of activities scheduled in Lexington. Uh, there's a posting on the check-in uh, vehicle that has all the activity. They'll let us know. Bob, you will let us know. Last thing we need to run away. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you want to... You this is Bob Capel, by the way, from the Lexington Chamber of Commerce. You want to let them know some of the activities yeah. going on. <laughs> First of all, let me say welcome to, uh, to Lexington this afternoon. When you do come into Lexington, we will have a parade. It's about a mile and seven tenths uh, up Plum Creek Parkway. And uh, we will be coming in the backside as, uh, as was previously announced. We will have um, uh, a country carnival atmosphere there this afternoon with the plays blacksmithing and spinning and, and tatting and, and those kind of things. Um, this evening at 5 o'clock we will have our evening meal followed by the opening ceremonies. We'll be uh, doing a proclamation, a key to the shower facilities available uh, from 2.30 to 5 and we'll be going to the middle school uh, uh, gym for those, uh, those services. Tomorrow morning we'll have uh, interfaith services at 7. Uh, breakfast will be at 7.30. Rotary Club will be selling uh, hotcakes and uh, sausage. and um, There'll be the uh, uh, service at 10 o'clock for LDS. And then lunch at noon. We'll also continue with the country carnival atmosphere tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night we will move to the uh, Dawson County Museum because of what Leon said about the races. We want to get you away from there because it's pretty noisy. Plus it'll be an opportunity to see our museum we will have the faith and the footsteps and every footsteps uh, official display at the museum, so you'll have a chance to see that if you haven't. And then we'll, we'll uh, at oh no at five o'clock prior to going to the museum, we will be going out to uh, the trail and dedicating a new marker for the Mormon Trail that the Boy Scouts did. Uh, Elder Bliss Fulmer from Lexington will be doing the uh, dedication for that. Then we'll go to the museum. But we'll bring you back to the uh, fairgrounds towards the end of the races, and you can settle in for the night, and then you'll go on Monday morning. So we're, we're glad you're here. This has been a lot of fun for us, and we look forward to, uh, to uh, you know, being a part of this with you in Lexington. I might mention uh, the committee that we have in Lexington will be wearing uh, a badge that says official on it uh, with a plum. And so if you've got any questions, you can ask any of those if I'm not available or the chairman who you'll meet later on. So if you've got any needs, definitely look for those uh, those that. Thanks, Leon. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Any questions? Yes. Yes. Leon, we got a horse here, here and uh, he'll be available as soon as we get in tonight or be available throughout the day. He'll be here this evening. He'll be here for t even tomorrow if any of you want to use him tomorrow. And take it from somebody that thinks they know something about a horse here, and he's good. Okay? Good. Oh, I have one other announcement. We will have a doctor with us in camp or today and tonight. Anybody who has ailments, he's kind of our semi official. Comment! Comment! One of the previous trail grants said uh, 
one of the brethren brought a little baby heir into camp for everybody to see. These were on the hand carts, got a little baby heir if you want to relive. <laughs> you live that little part of his great. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Very good. Comment. Question. <coughs> oh, Bob, oh, they want to do a five wagon of brass for, for camera purposes this morning before we pull out. <coughs> five hand cards of brass? I don't know. We, we have enough. We have enough. Uh, Okay, this morning's prayer, Sister Orchard. Hey, Leon? Yo. There's a question about care for a while. Amen. Have a great day. Have more trail grams here if you need one.